Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and we're here today to talk about Chris Christensen clipper blades, snap-on blades in general, um, some of the things that you may or may not know about Chris Christensen blades, what makes snap-on blades different than five-in-one blades, and what makes Chris Christensen blades different from maybe other snap-on blades that you might be using. So first of all, what is a snap-on blade? So a snap-on blade is a blade that snaps onto your clipper. So you press a lever, there's a blade hinge, you put the blade on there, and always with the motor running on any clipper when you're using a snap-on type blade, you have the motor running and you snap that blade on there. Of course, if you snap the blade on without your clipper running, it's not gonna really seat on that lever properly, the, the blade drive. So if you do snap it on without the motor running or it accidentally snaps down, no problem at all, press the lever, snap it up, just turn it on, you'll be completely fine. So you don't need to worry about that. So most clippers that you buy out there, including the Artemis, they come with a number 10 blade. And they come with a number 10 blade because typically it's the most versatile blade that you can use out there, right? You can do cats, you can do just about anything with it. Um, it's a great first time blade and most clippers do come with it. Um, some of the other blades and the reasons that you might use them. So we have a number 40 blade, which is typically the shortest blade that you're going to use. Um, it's used for surgery prep on actually both animals and humans. And it's used for poodles, face, feet, and tail. It's used often on some other breeds for sanitary trims, etc. And this is the shortest blade that you can get. Now, there is a number 50 blade out there, not used very often, not a very popular blade. So the number 40 blade is our most popular poodle blade, again, used for surgical prep, things like that. Um, if you're using a five in one blade and you had it on the shortest setting, that is about equivalent to a 40 blade, but honestly, it's a little bit longer than a true 40. So using this 40, your clipper work on your poodle is just gonna look a little bit neater, a little bit cleaner, and you know it's a really, really fantastic blade. Now, moving on, we also have a number 30 blade. So another number 30 is also very versatile. You can use that as well for sanitary trims. You can use it on cats. Um, you can use it on poodle face, feet, and tail, especially with poodles of a lighter color that tend to clipper burn a little bit. This is a great blade. This is also a fantastic blade to use under attachment combs. Then moving on to some of the other sizes, you would then you know, have your 10 would be the next shortest blade. So the 10 would be about the middle setting on a five in one blade. But again, it's gonna be a tiny bit longer than that middle setting. Moving on, our next shortest blade is going to be the 7F blade. So once we get to 7F, we have moved beyond the longest length that you would have on your five and one. So if you're doing a poodle body trim, you wanna do pets that have drop coats or short legged breeds, this is going to make their coat look a little bit plusher, a little bit longer. You're gonna like this a little bit more. So this is the 7F. One thing about the Chris Christensen 7F blade is ours has a very fine cutter. So this cutting blade actually has more teeth than a lot of seven blades that you're going to see out there. What does this mean? This means when you're using it at home, you're using it in a competition, you're using it on a dog that comes to you for grooming on a regular basis, you're gonna get a much prettier finish much, much quicker. So this is, it does have a very fine cutter. However, you might not be used to how it plows through a big, dirty, matted coat, right? It could be a little bit fine for that and you may find that it does do a, a finer job in the end, but using it on those big, dirty, matted coats, this kind of acts a little bit like a different blade. Then moving on, we have the 5F blade. I love this blade for the body trims on my dogs because at least I'm looking plush, you know, a little bit longer, a little bit prettier. Um, I also use this on the body coats of like many spaniels that are out there for pet trims. And then the longest blade that we currently have is the 4F blade. So the 4F is great. It's great for those terrier body trims when you're working in the salon. Poodle companion trims, this is also a really nice blade to use that. So that's the current selection of blades that we have for Chris Christensen. So now let's talk a little bit about the Chris Christensen blade quality. So the Chris Christensen blade quality, first of all, they're made with very high carbon steel content. So that's fantastic. They are 
manufactured in Germany. Our blades are forged and not stamped. Forged blades, they keep their edge a lot longer. That means that you're sharpening them less times. So your blade lasts longer between sharpenings. Also, you can sharpen them more times. So the blade lasts longer between sharpening and you can sharpen them more times. The fact that our blades are forged and not stamped is a very, very important distinction in the Chris Christensen blades. As well, the blades come with the service guarantee that you're used to from Chris Christensen. So they're sharpened the first time for free. So this is another great added value to you, the blade owner, right? We want you to have worry-free blade use when you're looking at the Chris Christensen blades. Another nice touch that I found on the Chris blades is they have the, the size of the blade on both sides of the blades. So it, you know, when you're scooping up your next blade to use it, I think this is a very nice, just little touch that the blades have that you can see no matter what size it is that it's written on both sides of the blades. So the next time that you want to reach for a true clipper, that's going to make your fine work look finer. It's going to do more than your five and one. You're going to be able to leave those body trims, those leg trims just a little bit longer. Look at the Chris Christensen clipper blades. Now, because they are snap-on type blades, that means that you can buy the Chris Christensen clipper blades and use them on your current snap-on type clipper. Um, as well, if you are thinking of purchasing an Artemis clipper, you can use the snap-on blades that you currently have on that clipper as well. So everything is interchangeable, works together, etc. Um, the blades are very long lasting. They do a great job, especially with that fine cutter. They are actually sharpened in between, not just the plates of the blade, but in between each tooth of the blade is also sharpened. So these blades are just going to give a better, longer life for you for each blade that you purchase. So I hope that you learned a little bit about clipper blades today, what makes blades distinct and different. Also what makes snap-on blades different than a five-in-one blade that you might be used to using. And if you're wondering why I have this piece of paper on my Artemis box, it has our blade chart. So that means you don't have to memorize what I told you each blade would clip your dog like. You can simply go to Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, download your own blade chart for absolutely free. You can see which size blade uh, we recommend for each kind of breeder group of dogs, as well as how long approximately they are going to leave the coat on your dog. So please visit Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and download our free bright chart. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.